Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch and welcome to a quick hands-on of the Zolo 8X1000 and Hive UI. You can see the launcher right there, the notification toggles as well. Here you have round dials instead of just plain old sliders. In the front you have a 5 inch HD IPS display. On the left you have the micro SD card slot. At the top 3.5 audio jack, micro USB data syncing charging port. On the right you have both the volume rocker power button as well as your SIM card slots. At the bottom you have the speaker grills. So two of them might be dual speakers. At the back you can see it's made of glass. At the top 8 megapixel camera. The phone is very easy to hold. And the major focus here is the new Hive UI which is built on Android 4.4 KitKat. The 8X1000 runs on a MediaTek Octa-Core processor MT6592M. And here you see the app drawer which you can sort based on the different categories of apps. This is the new dialer. It's very easy to use and this is the new contacts app which integrates your Facebook messages, SMS as well as call logs for all the contacts that you have talked to. Let's get into about you can see the newly designed interface Hive UI right up top. In terms of storage you have 3.94 GB as internal storage, 9.45 GB as your phone storage. The phone has a 16 gig ROM and you have 2 GB RAM on the system out of which about 1.9 GB is available to the user. Now this is the Edge app. It's specific to Hive UI where you can download themes, ringtones as well as wallpapers which are developed by the community you users yourselves and you can customize the entire look of the OS making your Hive experience truly unique. And this is Zolo Connect using which you can collaborate with Zolo and develop new features for the Hive UI which will be pushed to the platform. The 8X1000 is powered by the MT6592, Octa-Core processor clocked at 1.4 GHz, Mali 450 MP GPU. 1969 MB of RAM available out of 2 GB, 8 megapixel primary camera, Sony Exmore R sensor, 1080p video capture, 2 megapixel front facing camera. You have a 1920 mAh battery which is inbuilt and you have extra meter proximity and light sensor available. This is the default camera UI. You can see it's totally different. Very easy to capture. Focusing is quite quick here. Now these are your default settings. You have white balance, anti-flicker. Video capture can be set to fine so that you can record 1080p. Electronic image stabilization is also available here. The UI is really intuitive. It's really easy to use. You have grid controls available here too. And you have several effects which can be applied directly onto the viewfinder. And then you have several modes as well. Auto panorama as well as a pro mode. Now this is the Fusion X media player. It's integrated with last.fm. And you can see the dials again for volume. Let's get into settings. So you can see here, you can change the theme of the player. Again, great customization tools here. You do have a built-in equalizer as well with DTS surround sound. So let's get into that. You can see DTS written right there. You can customize it with presets or add your own custom preset as well. Now Zolo hasn't tinkered with the keyboard, you get the default AOSP keyboard with gesture functionality available here. Nice to see that as well. The phone runs Android 4.4 KitKat with Hive UI on top. The gallery application has been modified as well. So you can see right there, the images are in a grid and you can just open up an image to come into full screen mode. And then you can simply scroll through them. Editing is also available where you can add several filters. Well folks that was a quick hands on of the Zolo 8X1000. It is going to be available within a week for Rs. 13999. Octa core processor 2GB RAM 16GB ROM. Corning Gorilla Glass 3 at the back. Asahi scratch resistant display in the front. Running the new Hive UI with excellent performance. We will be back with more on the Zolo 8X1000. Till then you can watch our unboxing of the Zenfone 5 as well as the full review of the Zolo Q1010i and the Zolo Q1200. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching and have a great day.